Chris and we just got two feet of snow so you would think it'd be pretty odd to be talking about Bosch uh, 36 volt e-bike batteries but that's what I'm going to work on this week. So there's two things that I'm interested in. One is to uh, be able to charge the e-bike batteries out in my car when I'm driving somewhere with the e-bike. And the second one is to be able to charge the batteries only to 80% full, which means being able to set the, the volt charge voltage. Uh, Bosch has, a, in the US, it's just a four amp charger, and that's the only thing you can buy. There's no 12 volt chargers. I'm very happy with my Bulls uh, e-bike, and it uses the Bosch mid-drive system. But the problem with the Bosch system is it's very proprietary. So it turns out on the charger here, it has this plug that you can't find anywhere. Very bizarre. So my battery is a uh, Power Pack 500 by Bosch. It has indicators here on the side that tell you how full it is. And then it has this crazy plug on the on the back. I've got my Bosch battery plugged into the 4 amp charger. And you can see it's taking 171 watts to charge. Unfortunately, the AC inverter in my car has 150 watt maximum, and that's not enough to run the battery charger from Bosch. I had the thought that I could use my Best Tech 300 watt pure sine wave inverter to run the Bosch charger, but then I looked in that my 12 volt port in my car has a maximum of 120 watts, so that won't work either. The first thing I had to do was design a plug that would fit in the back of the battery. This is a design for the Bosch plug that you can use standard spade connectors to go in here. The cover is a separate piece that has three holes in the back that help hold the connectors in. And you can see here where the crimped on connectors slide in. This will just plug in the back of the battery here. I designed it so that it uses the standard uh, male disconnects that are for 10 to 12 gauge wire. And I've crimped them so that the crimp is in the same direction as the spade. And that way they slide right into my connectors. And one of them, you actually have to either grind off the sides to make it a little bit smaller, or you can also buy these smaller disconnects that are only uh, 0.187 inches wide. But I, I found it was easiest just to file down the standard connectors. Here you can see how the spades come through, and there's little grooves in these sections here that uh, keep them aligned. Um, I haven't done it on this one, but I suppose you could um, use some hot glue in here to keep them from pulling out. I designed the cover so that it slides on and the holes are not big enough to let these connectors back through. So you could put some glue on this surface here and then just close it up. So now we've got the Bosch plug and now we have to figure out how to connect to the battery and determine what it needs to be charged. The Bosch charger plug clearly labels the plus and minus pins, but it doesn't say what this third pin is for. The first thing I learned when you hook up the battery to a voltmeter is that you get nothing between the plus and minus. So I thought, well, that must mean that that third wire is doing some kind of enabling. So I carefully set up a man in the middle hack where I'm testing out my new plug with the Bosch charger. And you can see that it is charging. I hooked up my scope to that third pin and it turns out it's only five volts there. There's no uh, data signal on that line. Since I want to use this in my car, I found a nice uh, 12 volt cigarette plug. And then I found this uh, DC to D uh, boost converter which I'm going to use to boost the voltage from 12 volts up to the 42 volts required by the, the charge the Bosch battery. And the other nice thing about this is you can control the output current so I can limit it down to 2 amps and stay under uh, my car's limitations. 
to take care of the five volts as required to charge the battery, I found this little Drock uh, 12 to five volt three amp uh, converter. Gonna use that. I designed and 3D printed a board to hold the two DC converters. And I also put some cable straps in here. But this one board has to be adjusted. There's two pots on it, one for the voltage, one for the current. We're gonna adjust the voltage to be 42 volts, which is what the charge voltage for the battery should be at. So we'll, that's 41. So 41.9 is close enough. Next, we need to adjust the current output. Uh, we've got it plugged in here now, and you can see the red lights on, so it's charging the battery. You can see that the green light's flashing over here on the battery, which is good. So it's currently drawing 1.7 amps, so we can adjust this up a little bit. We want to make sure that we're using a fully discharged battery. So there we've got it set to about 2 amps that it's drawing, which should be fine. I've got a 12 volt supply here with a cigarette socket, and I've got the supply hooked up. and. Looks like we're drawing about 111, 110 watts. Here's a design for a plate that holds the DC converters and a cover for it. I printed a cover for it and I think we're all set to go. Plugged into my 12 volt car outlet. Charger's red showing it's charging. And the battery is blinking showing it's charging. So success. I checked the converter with the thermal camera and it was getting too hot so I turned the maximum amperage down. So now it's at 1.3 amps and the power supply that's supplying the 12 volts is consuming uh, 47 watts. What I learned is that some of these vendors are pretty liberal with their specs. Uh, in this case, they're way off. They're not anywhere close to what they say they are. So I've gone ahead and got a uh, much higher rated uh, voltage booster. And I'm gonna repeat the whole project now with this. We've gotta set the voltage for the power supply. If we put the leads here, you can see we've got 42 volts. There's an adjustment pot over here on the side. We can adjust the voltage up or down. We want to set it for 42. So the next thing we want to do is set the current. So if you take a battery that's been discharged uh, and then you can see right now it's uh, it's drawing uh, two amps to charge you can adjust this pot here and you can make it go up um, you can make it go up to four or five amps but I'm going to keep it down at two amps for now it's less stress on the batteries the last thing you want to do is set the low battery shutoff voltage so I've set my power supply to 12.2 volts, which is 50% discharge on a lead acid battery. Then you adjust this pot here until the LED light goes on. And then when what happens is that point, it shuts off the power to the uh, appliance. I'm pretty happy about how this project turned out. We were able to figure out how the uh, 36 volt Bosch e-bike battery worked. We uh, designed and 3D printed a, a plug for it and then we made a uh, 12 volt uh, 2 amp charger for it. So hit like and subscribe and have a great day.